Exploration without science is adventure, and probably nothing more than that. My name is Will Roseman, and I'm the executive director of the Explorers Club. The Explorers Club is an organization that was formulated with the intent to explore and to advance scientific exploration. The collection is a reminder of great accomplishments, and you can't walk through this building without seeing extraordinary things. The artifacts are typically things that were collected from members along the way. Our members were first to the North Pole, first to the South Pole, Amundsen and Perry and Hansen, first to the summit of Everest. In fact, Sir Edmund Hillary was our honorary president up until his death. First to the deepest points of the ocean, Don Walsh went down to the Marianas Trench in 1960 with Jacques Picard. And of course, 1969, when Neil Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin went to the moon. We have a plaque outside. There's a space there for the first member to walk on Mars. And there are other individuals that have been extraordinarily important Thor Heidel was a very prominent member and he had a theorem that the Polynesian islands were populated by South Americans. Before 1947, he had gone to National Geographic and other organizations and they scoffed at the idea. And then he came to the Explorers Club. He presented uh, what he had hoped to do and he utilized the globe outside to actually exhibit what his expedition would include and why it was important. And instantly our members saw that there was some merit there. And we not only helped him raise the money, but helped organize the expedition. Other things that I love are the William R. Lee paintings that are in our hallway. Uh, for anyone that's ventured to the American Museum of Natural History and seen the famous Akeley uh, dioramas, we have the paintings from which they were created. Well, many of the stuffed animals, so to speak, that we have in the trophy room very much represent a different era. They were actually specimens, some originally meant for the American Museum of Natural History. Some, in fact, were at the American Museum of Natural History and then subsequently ended here. We have a Yeti scalp that was brought here by Marlon Perkins of Mutual Omaha fame and Sir Edmund Hillary uh, that was used to actually show that it really wasn't a Yeti scalp. I guess if I had to name one single best artifact, for me it would be the Apollo 11 moon flag uh, that was taken by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin when they walked on the moon. And it's important to me not just because of the extraordinary achievement, but the impact that it still has with us even today. And it's also a reminder to me that we should continue space exploration uh, and beyond that. We plant our flag not so much to claim the area, but to claim it really for science. Our members go on average uh, 600 to 1,000 expeditions per year, but only 50 or 60 qualify to carry the Explorers Club flag. And many of these flags have been on 20, 30 expeditions. A flag gets retired if it's done something extraordinary. The flag is from 1955 and had gone on 19 expeditions and had been to the summit of Everest twice. One of our members took down to the Marianas Trench so it's the only item in the world that's been to the highest points on Earth and to the lowest points on Earth. And interestingly enough, that's a member, James Cameron, who's probably better known for being a director. When people apply for a flag to carry on their expedition, they have to prove that what they're doing is extraordinary and different. And I think that's a great indication of what our club stands for. They're extraordinary people doing extraordinary things all in the name of science. I invite people to come and visit us. It's really exciting for me to see the expressions on people's faces. And people are just flabbergasted. Everyone's a child when they come here. And they see things with new eyes. And they experience incredible things.